You don't get your transgender ass up out of here and get out of my face. Ringo is a Jezebel. You fell out with your real brother over money for years because you're a shitty person, bro. I'm new. Hold on. Let me get this right. I'm new greed, but you fell out with your real brother, your blood brother for years because he owed you money. Stop playing with me. He wanted some coochie so bad. He was in her inbox like, I know you a Pisces. You know, a Pisces. You know, Pisces think like this and Pisces think like that. So I know you want So now you in the horoscopes, nigga? <laughs> nigga, you a witch. Nasty nigga. And if I said it, I meant it. You ain't having no sons. Because you a bitch. Like I said the first time. You don't deserve to have no boys because you a woman at heart. Damn Jezebel. I'm going to have all his audience watching. This is YouTube. This is a business. Y'all, y'all want to see it. Y'all want to see drama. So I'm going to give it to you. He made his mind up right then to sell his brother out. Oh, socially awkward ass. This is why I don't deal with humans. So what the hell are you dealing with? Demons, nigga? <laughs> this is why I don't deal with humans is the name of one of his videos. <laughs> this is why I don't deal with humans. What you dealing with? You dealing with them damn dark spirits in the Jason mask. This ain't no horror movie. You got a whole lot to say about weirdo TV, and rightfully so, but I think it is incumbent upon you to own your mistakes in associating with this heathen. That way, when people like myself raise questions, you don't flip the script as though it's a personal attack against you. It's ironic that you depicted the character Scarface in your soliloquy because I do see some semblance in your decision making compared to the late fictitious Scarface character. Both of you chose to hang around some bad, dangerous people who were bad for business. Remember, this is the same guy, Weird Old TV, who said, Joseph fucked Mary. And you stood by, continuing to support this heathen because you knew he used to give big money to Creflo Dollar. And you was hoping he would do the same for you. So you were willing to look the other way, even though you knew he had a foot fetish and like underage girls. Nevertheless, let's hear what else New Breed has to say. And I've acknowledged that, you know, I can have an issue with, you know, just retali being retaliatory or whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? I'm that type of person. And it's, it's been a battle. And I'm man enough to admit it. I'm working on myself every day. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. But the fact that this brother say, look, if you look close enough, you can see that every man has fought. But you got these guys out here. You got these people out here who like to grandize themselves as if they're, a, they're without blemish and without fault and that they're perfect. Let's point to the person. Let's point to the person's bad. As if that abstains them and makes them somehow good, like Scarface said in the clip. Because you got somebody to point at as your bad guy. Do that somehow make you good? See, here's the thing. In actuality, to be 100%, I really don't give a f what you think. I mean, you may not. And you certainly have that right. But just don't accuse men like myself of trying to defame your name. I've presented a lot of proof through the scriptures that polygyny is a false doctrine and cannot be practiced today. But continue. That's a hundred percent truth. And here's a news flash for all of my enemies, adversaries, self-proclaimed enemies and adversaries. Let's make this clear. You really are wasting your time. Cause I'm gonna get you in. On, let me let you in on a little news flash here. Most of the people who watch my content, notice I said most because most of the people who watch my content, not all, but most of the people, they don't like me anyway. <laughs> That's gaslighting. Respectfully, perhaps you and your audience should play back all the words you have for weird old TV and even dirty low Dow to a degree. None of these men have credibility and they are all godless. I mean, don't the police imprison anyone who is an accessory to murder? In the eyes of Yah, you at some point shouted out these heathens and called them men of God. As I always say, it's not personal, it's scripture. On and ask whatever question they want they want to ask as far as as far as UP farms and the integrity thereof 
and what we have going on. And I even extend that off of the fates and gates because I've seen you comment on this channel. So you well aware that I have this channel over here. Uh, you can feel free to pull up because I see you making a lot of material about what goes on at UP Farms. I'm extending the invitation. So whatever question that you have, you see how I'm doing this, y'all? Any question you have, you can ask it and I can give you an answer. My issue goes deeper than UP Farms because several months ago you were ready to ditch the scriptures. So I am able to speak about our differences, but in a forum where we have time to talk. Perhaps I would first like to hear your response to my Polygyny is a Package Deal series. And also I have a new series that I'll be releasing. White Supremacy is a Package Deal. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But you said all people are welcome to come upon the land. Again, I understand you do not own the land, but you're putting your name, your brand behind it. And the Most High never commanded us to fellowship with the heathen. He said, come out of her and be ye separate. He even went further and said, those who forsake land and houses and wives for my name's sake shall inherit eternal life. Somebody said it. Monitoring spirits. Going back to my point real quick, most people who watching, they're just monitoring spirits. And, you know, you're not going to stop them from watching because they were never there to support in the first place. I think content creators should get more focused on speaking to their audience. I believe wholeheartedly in monitoring spirits, but you're manipulating the people as though anyone who rebukes you has a monitoring spirit. And that's clearly not the case. And not trying to win over other people's audiences. That's not going to work. You know, what will work because there's so much room out here on social media is you as, and I'm just some advice to content creators out here. You content creators, if you up and coming, I think making a YouTube channel is a, a fantastic idea. Um, it's a way to get your opinions, your thoughts out. It can be uh, very lucrative. If you're very good at it, um, and I think you should uh, consider starting you a page, starting you a channel. I did not seek out you or Ringo TV. YouTube suggested a video to me a few years ago that Ringo TV made praising Geno Jennings. And I said to myself, why would he do that? Geno Jennings is a false prophet. Then I learned that Weirdo TV believes in polygyny as well. And he even challenged anyone to come forward and prove to him that polygyny is a false doctrine. So through your association with Weirdo TV, that's how I learned about you. Well, at least that's how I learned that you also believe in polygyny. Because I did hear about you before. And the, one of the first videos you made that I learned about was you teaching about the end times tribulation. And I said nothing about that video because I also believe in the end time tribulation. So it was not some me just searching you out just to make videos about you. You're not the only person I make videos about who's a false prophet. I've made videos about Dirty Low Dow, made videos about Ego Jennings, Weird Old TV, okay? And I have many more videos to make. So again, it's not personal, it's scripture. But if you're going to start you a channel, make people respect your material. Don't try to win over other audiences. You don't have to fight for audiences. You don't have to fight for this person's audience. Listen, you don't have to do that. It's enough people on social media, on this apparatus. It's millions upon millions of people that you can, you can get connect with. Let's stick to the bottom line. The scriptures say contend for the faith and debate thy cause. I'm not here to engage in the politics of YouTube. You're well aware that the YouTube platform is built off of forums and open discussion and people who have opposing views. Okay, that's what grows the platform. I'm sure you're well aware of that. Okay, and people are always going to have opposing views when it comes to doctrine. Because there are many false prophets in the world. Anyway, do I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? I'm welcome to speak with you, new breed, but I would like to have time to talk and I would like to hear your response to the evidence I've already presented in the scriptures 
that polygyny is a false doctrine. Enjoy the rest of your day.